The Golden Gate Bridge is reddish-orange because of the determination of architect Irving Morrow. Morrow designed the bridge's Art Deco look, its lighting, and in a 1935 report to the bridge's board of directors, made the case for a most unusual color. NPR's Tom Cole reads Morrow's words. The Golden Gate Bridge is one of the greatest monuments of all time. Its unprecedented size and scale call for unique and unconventional treatment. The Golden Gate was to be the longest suspension bridge in the world. What has been thus played up in form should not be let down in color. Morrow wanted a color that complemented the changeable weather of San Francisco Bay. During construction, the color of the primer coat, a reddish-orange, caught Morrow's eye. Morrow was critical of the three safe standard choices. Black, he thought that would reduce the scale of the bridge. Gray, not at all distinctive, he said. Silvery, he said that was more suitable to a dirigible. Captivated by the temporary color of the bridge, local citizens wrote Morrow, urging him to make it permanent. It is a source of joy to see these lovely red towers as they are now, outlined against the hills of Marin and the ever-changing sky. I am sure I voice the sentiment of most commuters in making this plea to you to have the bridge painted red. Sincerely yours, Lillian Hodgehead. It is nature's method of bringing the raw paint into relation with its surroundings. The director should not try to be smarter than God. Signed, Maynard Dixon. Mr. Morrow prevailed, and the closest paint color to the primer was chosen. It's called International Orange, also known as Orange Vermilion. But whatever it's called, we know it as the unmistakable color of the Golden Gate Bridge. 